I got one thing on my mind and that's why I wanted to put this video up. There seems to be a lot of confusion in the market right now um, uh, uh, with people learning and, and getting involved and crossing over into the cryptocurrency grid. As you know, Bitcoin is at an all time high, uh, $2,800 right now. Uh, today is June 6th, 2017. And uh, what we're gonna be looking at is um, inflation and the cryptocurrency market. And most importantly, trading versus investing. The name of this video is Do Not Invest in Bitcoin, and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, there is a major difference between trading and investing, okay? I am a trader. I do not invest in anything. I do not recommend anyone out there listening to these words, invest in anything. When you invest money, you literally hand it to someone else they go take that money make a bunch more money on top of it and they pay you a fraction of the percent that they earned with your wealth that is investing that is what we've come to know as safe haven investments that's what we've come to expect from wall street wall street has standardized the investment ponzi scheme to assume a 7% annual return. So for example, most people think if they make seven to 12% a year, they've outpaced the market and they've won. You know, I gave you $100, you gave me $107 back and I win. No, 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 no. You will lose 100% of the time if that's your strategy. Bitcoin is not for investors. Bitcoin is for traders. When we, and this is a lot of you guys always ask me, why don't you trade against the dollar? Why are you trading on these Bitcoin charts? Look at Dash. Dash is up to $147 right now. We should be buying Dash. No, you shouldn't. As long as you trade against the dollar, you most certainly will lose. This is why. Numbers do not lie. The purchasing power of the US dollar has decreased more than 97% inside of 100 years. So if your end goal is to accumulate dollars, you need to stop watching this video because you're wasting your time. I'm not gonna help you get US dollars. I'm going to help you get Bitcoin. Why am I going to help you get Bitcoin? Because Bitcoin has no uh, secret agenda to increase deprivation, increase starvation, to decrease accessibility to resources just in the name of profitization and capitalization, Bitcoin does not do that. Bitcoin does not finance any act of violence. I'll say violence. I have to watch my words. Um, Bitcoin doesn't do that. Bitcoin exists because the people are tired of this chart existing and the people have responded in so much that it just passed a hundred billion dollars in market cap. And I promise you, it's not looking back. It took what, five years? And this is how you do the logarithmic charts. It took uh, since the bottom, since $200, it took about five years to get a hundred billion. That means it'll take another five years to get a trillion. And how much do you think Bitcoin will be worth when it's a trillion dollars inside the market cap. So I, my goal is not to help you get dollars. My goal is to help you get Bitcoin. Here's another chart. They talk about um, the, the bell curve. A lot of you guys have seen this. Um, this is um, in business school. We, we saw this chart all the time. When you start a new business, you, you have to count to account for a certain uh, uh, distribution curve. It's going to take a while for your business to pick on. 
Bitcoin is a new business. And this, this, uh, this chart is showing we're still very, very early, right? Mainstream society has not adopted Bitcoin yet. You can't go to your local uh, uh, farmer, maybe your farmer's market, but mom and pop shop, you know, and, 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 and buy uh, a, a new clock in Bitcoin. You are not getting Bitcoin from your grandmother when you go to see her, you know, on, on your college visit, right? Uh, you go see a relative you haven't seen in a long time. They hit you with $20. You put it in your pocket. You say, thank you. Like in the future, that's going to be a Bitcoin transaction. You understand we're not there yet. A lot of people that don't understand the psychology of economics uh, want to want to claim Bitcoin, write it off as a Ponzi scheme. It can't be a Ponzi scheme by design, right? Uh, nobody can run in a back room and print up more Bitcoin just to benefit themselves and go throw them out on the market. That's how a Ponzi scheme works. It only works when more, more supply is put in at the bottom to pay people at the top. Bitcoin has a mark, uh, a, a cap, a supply cap of 21 million. After that, that's it. You need infinity million for it to be a Ponzi scheme. Okay. Multiple economies, as proven, have been Ponzi schemes where money is printed, money is printed. Oh, what's the debt ceiling? I don't know. Kick it off till next year. More money is printed, money is printed. That's more of a Ponzi scheme than Bitcoin will ever be. So you need to understand this and also understand that if it's your goal to invest, to literally give away your hard earned wealth and accept 7% a year, then you are long lost and you need to stay in the dollar. And this cryptocurrency market is not for you. I am not an investor. I am a trader. I trade Bitcoin. I accumulate. My goal is to out pace the market. So even though Bitcoin is going up and it's going to keep going up, my goal is to go up faster than Bitcoin. How do I do that? Well, I trade against Bitcoin. So if I catch an uptrend against Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dash, NIM, Psycoin, all these altcoins, you know, they have peaks and valleys, ups and downs. All I do is I trade the up, I catch it, and then I give it right back to the market when it's ready to go down. That's what happened with Dash, right? And and some people even said Dash is still in, in an uptrend def depending on how far you zoom out against time. I'm a day trader, guys. I make sometimes 5, 10, 15 trades a day. I realize that's not for everybody, right? Some people want to invest in Bitcoin. And I'm telling you, that's not the idea you should have. It's a big difference between trading and investing. Okay. Um, and, and again, a lot of this is, is preconceived because Wall Street has trained us to think that, um, you know, to think that 7% return a year is good on our wealth when behind the scenes, they've actually controlled and decided what would happen 1971 was the downfall of our economy in the sense that we came off the gold standard we essentially gave the brain gave the gave the financial institutions free money for the better part of five decades and what happened as a result our purchasing power has fallen through the floor we no longer own our money we no longer control our money and that's why all this new money is flowing into Bitcoin. I do not invest in Bitcoin. I trade Bitcoin. And that's how I've been able to outpace the market 1,000%, 10,000% is my goal this year is because I catch the ups, I get out before the downs. And when Bitcoin is going up, I am guaranteed to win. So my videos are designed to train you guys how to do the exact same thing. Bitcoin doubled in a year. It went from 1,000 to 2,000. Technically, you could say it almost tripled. I don't think it's gonna stay at 2,800 for very long. I think we still need to catch our breath, get, get our ground a little bit. But, you know, that's only 
only guys, a 200% return, which is very, very good. If you're looking at Wall Street, those scam artists, they, 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 they would never tell you you could get 200% in a year, right? But Bitcoin does it time and time and time again. By doing what I did, you could have been able to get 10 times more of that, okay? So what I do is trading. What Wall Street does is investing. And yes, a lot of people are looking at the Dash is Cash videos. That is a trade. If you want to invest in Dash against the US dollar, then chances are you're still fine. You wanna know why? Because the US dollar is going down in value and you can stretch that chart out into infinity and it will still go down, right? I don't trade against the US dollar, I trade against Bitcoin. So yes, while Dash at the time looked like it was setting up to be a very good trade, it looked like it was going to be a reversal, which a uh, reversal, it still may be that inside of a bigger chart, I don't live in those big charts. I live on, on a 45 minute chart um, to where I can see maybe two or three days each way. And from that, I can catch a lot of ups and I can get out before a lot of downs. I don't look at the daily chart. I don't look at the weekly chart. I don't care. People are asking me what's going to happen in November. I don't know and I don't care. But I know by November, I will have a lot more Bitcoin accumulated just by doing these little incremental trades than most people will just by plopping their money in at 2800 and riding the train up. That's really not how you get ahead. That's not what I teach. Um, a lot of people are doing it. That's fine. You won't find it on this channel. This is a channel for traders, not for investors. My advice to you moving forward, do not invest in Bitcoin and do not expect me to either. It's your boy BK. Y'all have a great day. Happy trading. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.